welcome back dear friends uh, i hope all of you are fine today we are going to discuss about ratio control and uh, the learning objective of these tutorials are we will learn how to set up split range control in high seas so let's start uh, first with uh, split range control actually in this control loop uh, output of the controller is split into two or more uh, percentages that are sent to the final control element it could be control valve or uh, any other uh, element to uh, control the process variable so in most of the split range application the controller adjusts the opening of one uh, of the valves when it output it is in the range of 0 to 50 percent and the other valve when its output is in the range of 50 to 100 percent so let's move to the problem statement that we are going to practice today so here is uh, uh, a very simple uh, system actually it's just a mixture uh, we have two input stream one is the hot water and the other one is the cold water so these two streams are mixed in the mixture and the outlet uh, stream we want our desired temperature so to control temperature here we are using split range controller that assess the uh, measure the temperature in the output of the mixture and accordingly uh, compare with the set point and generate the output that will send f into two different uh, 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 sub controllers both controllers are uh, flow controllers so the uh, the first one is for hot valve water and the second one is for cold water so in this table we have uh, the the first controller second and split range controller uh, uh, instrumentation uh, parameters such as gain and uh, integration time or integral time and minimum and the maximum ranges and also uh, we also have the ranges uh, for operation of this split range controller so when the output of this controller is in the range of 0 to 50 percent so at that time the fcc2 that is the cold water flow controller will receive uh, the 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 src controller uh, output as the set point for this controller to maintain the flow rate in the mixture to bring the outlet water temperature at the desired okay but if the controller output is higher than 50 to 100 percent then valve when will be operated so this is the problem statement that we are going to solve uh, in high so let's move to the high software to solve this problem so now we are in HiSys environment. The first step is uh, we have to select component and here we have only one component that is water. After that, uh, go to the fluid packages uh, because we are dealing only with water. So it is good if we use uh, some property package that will deal with steam. So we are using here ASME steam. So after that, property environment is uh, fully specified. Next step is we have to build simulation. Okay, now we are in simulation environment. So what we need, we need one mixture. We need three valves. Okay. And after that, we need... Uh, three controllers so one two and the one split range controller so this is all that we need from uh, uh, flow sheeting uh, tab so uh, let's start with valve 100 so i will change its name valve one and input is hot water and output I will say is one and uh, it's given in PowerPoint that 
the delta p across each valve is 0 0.1 bar okay similarly we will define valve number two so we will say valve two inlet is cold water and the outlet i will say is two go to the parameters and write here 0 0.1 okay so then close this one after that double click on mixer and uh, we have two inputs that is stream number one and stream number two and the output is stream number three and after that close this one and now double click on valve number three and uh, i will say inlet is three and the outlet is uh, maybe warm water okay and similarly define here the pressure drop 0 0.1 bar so close this one after specifying uh, after just connecting the uh, flow sheet now specify the hot water and cold water streams so first we will specify the hot water the temperature is given that is 80 degrees c and uh, then uh, pressure is 3 bar gauge and uh, mass flow rate was 200 kg per hour the next step is go to the composition it's only water so just press 1 so uh, unknown pressure so let me see uh, sorry the temperature was 80 degree pressure was 3 bar gauge well so the hot water stream is fully converged next step is cold water so the cold water temperature was 25 degrees c pressure is same and mass flow rate uh, was also same 200 kg per hour next step is specify the composition write one because it's only water again so now it's also converged so now the next step is uh, to specify the flow controllers okay so for that uh, uh, but uh, before doing that we just have to uh, size these valves okay so double click on it and go to the ratings so you can see 50 percent valve opening 0 0.1 bar flow rate is 200 so we have to size this valve and that's okay similarly for valve 2 go to the ratings and uh, size this valve and in the end valve number 3 okay rating and size this valve okay now we are ready to uh, connect the controllers so the first one is uh, the flow controller for uh, across the valve number one okay so the process variable that is going to adjust here is mass flow okay select and uh, what is the uh, output targeted object it's the valve one actuator desired position okay so i just going to flip it horizontally to look more beautiful so it says unknown ranges for process variable okay for that go to the parameters and uh, it is reverse action that is fine minimum and maximum it is given in powerpoint zero and 400 minimum and maximum range okay and also gain is given and we can just confirm for fcc1 we have 0 0.5 0 0.5 and 0 and 400 okay so it is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 
okay and after specifying this i'm just creating a face plate for this one to use in future close this one okay similarly we are going to specify the second flow controller so again here we are going to assess mass flow rate okay and uh, what would be the output target object is well number two actuator design position okay so again here i am going to flip it horizontally to look more beautiful again it says unknown ranges for process variable go to the parameters tab and here we have to specify the process variable range that is given 0 to 400 kg per hour similarly we also known the uh, gain and integral time for this it is also 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and it is also reverse action controller so uh, after specifying this we are going to uh, introduce a face plate for this controller as well so, okay after specifying these two controller now it is the time to specify the third controller that is the main learning lesson for this tutorial split range controller so double click on it and uh, the first step is we have to specify uh, the process variable source okay so actually we are going to control the temperature of stream number three okay select temperature and now the output target object so we have more than uh, one for this uh, tab so uh, first uh, let me check here uh, FCC 1 and FCC 2 so first we have to uh, define FCC 2 that is the cold water okay so FIC 101 FIC 101 is our uh, output and we want to give a set point to this controller as the output of this uh, split range so the output of split range controller will be the set point for this flow controller okay and uh, now we have to specify the second one and for second one we have to uh, give the FIC 100 and set point and simply select now it says unknown ranges for process variable okay for that go to the parameters and here uh, go to the configuration and then we have uh, low limit and high limit and low and high limit is again given here the minimum limit is 50 and maximum limit is 60 okay so um, uh, let's uh, do it here process variable minimum limit is 50 maximum limit is 60 okay and uh, we are not going to change this one uh, again uh, next step is uh, go to the operation and here the tuning parameters are given the kc value for this is 0 0.02 and integral time is 1 okay so we are going to put here 0 0.02 and integral value is 1 if i am not mistaken well okay now only one thing is left that is split range setup 
so uh, for FIC 101 that is this one uh, the controller when the controller output will have 0 to 50 percent in invert action then this will operate so it will remain uh, at the same position where it is and uh, the output only will go here but after 50 to 100 percent in an invert action the output of split range will go here okay so currently the set point is 52.53 again go to the parameters okay go to split charts create a strip chart for this operation and uh, just display it close this window and maybe go to here parameter and <clears throat> okay now everything is ready and uh, we are uh, uh, ready to move into the dynamic environment for that just click on dynamics click on dynamic mode now the dynamic assistant will open it will say make some changes either you can make it by your hand if you double click on it or just right uh, click on this make changes it will automatically do this so it says the following change could not made or were disabled for that double click on it and we will say ok and then make changes now everything is uh, perfectly aligned after that now again uh, activate the dynamic mode okay so now the dynamic mode is uh, activated so to run the dynamic simulation you can see that the flow controller both flow controller are set at the manual uh, position okay but we we don't want to uh, we want to have uh, the remote set point so to have the remote set point we have to set these two controller in a cascade controller mode so you can see here are in a yellow uh, highlighted so now this controller is assessing remote set point that is being given from split range controller similarly for second controller we will set is set as a cascade so the overall system is actually cascaded split range control okay so similarly the main controller we will have to put it on auto okay so everything is uh, ready so let's just run the simulation so at this time you can see the process variable uh, is uh, 52.53 degree c so both are perfectly matching with each other and uh, the uh, output of one uh, well, I mean the opening of one valve is 99.72% uh, uh, the other one is 0.14% so if I change the uh, uh, set point of the temperature from 52 to 55 degree C and then run again so you can see how the outputs are changing of these valves so similarly if I increase 57 so you can see it will immediately matching so 57 to maybe 59 so it match again and the last one is 60 and now again 52 53 
so now after some time you can see the system reach on a steady state so this is the way how you can um, uh, introduce split range control so this one is uh, one of the way where i uh, explained uh, split range but it's not just a split range it's a cascaded split range control loop i hope you understand it and uh, like this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe the channel and share it like it until next video bye bye